Okay, so every day I try to come home and really talk with the Lord and do a reflection over my day because I want to grow in God. I don't want to be wasting time. I want to deceive myself, but I really want to grow in God. And sometimes growing in God means you need to take a deep reflection or inventory on your own self and the things that you do and why you do the things that you do. It's part of your inner healing so you can grow in God. So today, Holy Spirit revealed to me how I have control issues. And I said, what? I'm not trying to control nobody, you know. He said, yeah, you got control issues, Yvette. And he began to tell me, you know, as a single person, I've been single for years. I believe I've been single now since Jesus was born in the manger. <laughs> That's how long it's been. But anyway, as a single person, we're so used to being in control of everything. We don't have to ask nobody nothing. You know, we're just in control of everything in our lives. We do what we want. We go where we want. If we want this or want that, we make our own choices. We're in control of everything. And a lot of times that will roll over into other parts of your life. So a situation happened today where I did not have control of that situation. And when I didn't have control of the situation, I got anxious about it because I, there was nothing I could do. I could not control that situation. And I wanted to. So, child, I went and bought me a pack of cookies and ate them. I'm being honest, y'all. I want y'all to be delivered, too. So, the Lord let me see, Yvette, the reason you're anxious, the reason you went and bought those pack of cookies, or, or we take comfort in food, or comfort in whatever, or get anxious, or get upset, or be distracted, is because... When you we when I don't have control of a situation, it causes me to get a little frizzle frazzle, you know, because I don't have control. And guess what? You can't have control, Evet. This is how Holy Spirit was speaking to me. I am God. I control everything. Everybody's steps are being ordered by me. You know, I'm not a God that's you know so far away that. I don't see what's happening in people's lives. I got it. So you don't have to feel like you have to be in control of everything. You got to learn how to talk to me and release it. And when you don't have control, be all right with not having control. That is part of a Jezebel spirit event. Jezebel wanted control. It won't about no red lipstick, honey, or makeup or nothing like that. They don't even tell us how the child looks. But anyway, <coughs> part of a Jezebel spirit is control. You cannot be in control, especially of other people's lives. You just can't. And you have to learn how to release people and let me as God be in control. So I thank Holy Spirit for that lesson on today. And I agree, you're right, Lord. It's because I couldn't control the situation. I got upset and I went and bought me a pack of peanut butter cookies, honey, for that sort of soothe my anxiousness or my upsetness. And, and God does, does not want us to be that way. It's all right to not have control and still be all right. Don't have the control. No, God is in control. Don't go buy the cookies. That's a problem. When you don't have control of something, it causes you to eat or overeat or make wrong choices. We're going to be healed from that event. So know that I am truly God and you don't have to be in control of everything. Even when it don't, something's not going the way you want it to be. You got to learn how to release things to me. That's where your faith come in. So i just been blessed today, and I hope that blessed you all today. What do you do when you don't have control of a situation? What do you do? You know, God is truly God. He is truly God. He is truly in control, and we have to trust every error in our life to him. 
Don't go, you know, go off and do something because you don't have control of a situation. No, be still and know that he is God. I thank God for his word. I really do. And that blessed me, and I hope it blesses you. May we all, the children of God, grow in Christ. See you on the next one.